Greetings, salutations, you guys. Adrian here. Welcome to our live sale. This is like the first live sale after Christmas. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so, so long, but I'm super excited to be here. Oh my goodness. How is everyone, how was everyone's Christmas that celebrated? How was your guys' um, time? How is your week going by so far? Happy, it's, what is it today? Tuesday? Oh my gosh, it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Um, hi, Edie. I'm so, oh, first of all, congratulations. I'm so glad that you're able to schedule your, um, your, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> your surgery. And it's crazy. You're actually, it's actually scheduled on my birthday. So that is very, very, very cool. So I'm very happy. Um, that you're able to do that, but you guys, we still have, um, money that we need to raise for ED surgery. Still need another $2,500, so I'm actually going to link ED's information, um, right here. Let me just hop into our Discord really quickly and grab that link if I can find it. Okay. There's actually a fundraiser tab too as well in our Discord. People are selling things um, on there on behalf of ED Surgery. And then we have a GoFundMe. And there's also her um, PayPal and what's it called? Um, I forgot what the other thing was called. <laughs> But, um, yeah, any little bit helps. You can click over there. Um, and I'll also leave the link as well for our Discord group if you guys would like to join. So here is our Discord group as well. Hi, M. Basto. Hello. Hi, Tracy, Nadia, Dodo Bird. Hi, Ashley, Melissa, Tanya. There's West Coast Gal. Hi, everyone. Hi, O'Maryland. I hope everyone had a great holiday. Hi, good, hi, good morning, Pauline. How are you? Uh, I just have my coffee right here. Feeling energized for the morning. Oh, it's already 11. That's right, 11.08. Hi, Kathleen. How are you? Happy Tuesday. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long. I'm sorry I've been, like, so MIA, too, like, everywhere. Uh, I've just been, like, hanging out with the family and kind of just, like, relaxing. And... Taking a little break from social media. <laughs> but it's been really nice. Hi, Carmen. How are you? But I can't believe New Year's is literally this weekend. And it's crazy that all the holidays are falling on weekends this year. Um, <laughs> I'm like, why does it have... Like, it's great that it's like they're on weekends. But it's totally encroaching on my thrifting schedule. Because I usually go thrifting Saturdays and Sundays. And... Christmas and Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, last Saturday, Sunday, and then this one, this Saturday, Sunday is New Year's, New Year's Eve, so. Oh, oh, Marilyn, you're going off to work? Okay, have a good day at work. Oh, to get off of work. Sorry, I'm just ready to get off of work. Well, that's exciting. Getting off of work is always fun. Hi, Style Chat. Happy Tuesday. Hi, Sarah. Oh, goodness. Um, the boys went to Universal Studios yesterday, and they had a blast. I'm still, like, trying to... I'm waiting for my sister to send me some photos. Um, she posted some on Instagram, so if you guys follow her on there, um, you might have seen some of the photos, but they were so cute. Zach and Eliza and Kay, they're all, like, obsessed with Harry Potter, but Eliza and Zachary are, like, really, really into it right now. Zach just finished reading all of the Harry Potter books um, a few months ago. He read them so quickly. I don't know how 
he became such a voracious reader, but he was obsessed with Harry Potter, and he read all of the books in the span of, like, a few months. So that was crazy. And then Eliza was actually starting to read Harry Potter, which is so crazy, because he's only in... He's only in, what, first grade? Second... First grade? Second grade. Oh my gosh, I forgot how great Eliza was in. And it's just nuts that he's, like, reading Harry Potter already. So it's very exciting. Oh, ag agreed, Ambasta. Oh, oh, Maryland! Yay, I'm glad she likes it! Hi, Cassandra! I hope you had a great Christmas as well. Thank you so much. And Edie, that's a good question. Let's do that for today's giveaway. So that is today's giveaway. How are you celebrating New Year's Eve? Honestly, I still don't exactly know if we're going to... I don't think we're having anything at our house because we did Thanksgiving and then Eliza's birthday is literally in like two weeks and we're having a birthday party for him so we don't want to be like partied out throwing parties at the house so I think we're just gonna spend it at the house just to us I don't think like there's gonna be anything too exciting I told you guys before if I if we do New Year's Eve just like at the house not doing anything um, I'll pop on here and we can all hang out together until it's, like, the new year. I think that'd be pretty fun. So, usually, like, if we don't do anything New Year's Eve, and even if we do have a party, everyone usually leaves a little bit early because no one wants to drive that late at night on New Year's Eve because you know how crazy it gets on the streets. So, um, but that is today's question. How are you celebrating New Year's Eve? And let me leave the link for the giveaway. It was just this morning's YouTube video. Leave your answer right there in the comments of that video and then at the end of today's live sale we're going to be announcing the winner and today i'm going to be giving away this little mini spa roller set i love these i really really like um i like both of these rollers actually i have a version of both of them there's like the silicone massaging roller which is really really nice it feels really good like massaging your face and then the ice roller is always really great in the morning too to depuff your face which is fantastic so this is today's giveaway. It's like a little brand new little mini spa roller set. And it is so cute. It's in a, like a night nude pink color too. Exactly, Edie. <laughs> also, um, Vadrian is babysitting a little baby right now. And the baby is so cute. He's like doing the, like, the little baby talk. And it's so adorable. <laughs> right style chat I always wondered that too as a kid because um most of my family is in the Philippines and they like the Philippines is like a day ahead so it's like already the next day for them so like when it's like New Year's Eve for us it's already New Year's Day for them and growing up I was always like but it's already New Year's hi 007 there's J Sweet hello guys Happy holidays, everyone. Okay. Let me just get my notes ready. So I have these down. Again, here is the link for the giveaway. Hi, Lourdes. That's the giveaway link. If you haven't had a chance to enter... Oh, it's kind of chilly. I have like my sweater right here in case I get too cold. I was getting hot for a second because I was drinking my coffee, but then once that wears off, <laughs> it like gets cold again. It's actually drizzling right now. It's supposed to be like, I think it's going to rain the whole week here. And yeah. Hi, Rachel. And it's crazy because this past few days, it's been almost 80 degrees here. Like, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day was really warm. And then, now it's supposed to... Oh, yeah. It's raining today, and then Friday and Saturday. So, it's going to be raining. Yeah, Tanya, right? Hi, Cindy. Happy New Year, or Happy New Year, <laughs> happy, happy Christmas. 
Oh, Rachel, I'm sorry to hear that. <sighs> All right. Well, I guess we'll get started. Um... Okay, what's our first item going to be? Oh, but don't forget to enter the giveaway. Because we're giving away this really cute little spa roller set today. These are so fun. I love the ice roller too in the morning. Because it just feels so nice on your skin. Happy Christmas, Cindy. Hi, Dawn. Happy Christmas. Oh, Vedran also says happy Christmas to everyone. It was raining a lot uh, last week on the East Coast. <laughs> Style chat, right? The rain is just like, it's going all over. Oh, Dawn says that she loves your stickers, Vedrian. Oh, nice. I think it's going to be in like the low 60s and uh, mid 50s here. Mid to high 50s? Yeah. Hi, Kirsten. Oh, Dawn, you're driving. Okay. Ugh, hold on. I think I'm going to put this sweater on. Because I think I just got cold. Hi, Nora. Oh, and Basto. Uh, Badrian says happy Christmas to you as well. Hi, Purple Rain. Snowing in Tahoe. Oh, wow. It's snowing over there, Cindy. Hi, Veronica. Have a good day at work. Hi, Molly. Visiting with our oldest son and fiance. Oh, that's exciting, Molly. It's always nice to see family that you haven't seen in a while. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Ah, I love this hoodie. Okay, well, let's get started. Um... Today's hoodie is not for sale, though. <laughs> but I will look for another one. I actually just saw... Um, I saw a, a hoodie very similar to this one. This is like a Lululemon hoodie. I found a blue one, but it was like... I don't know. It was like a size medium. And I like my hoodies to be like kind of oversized. And this one is already like a double XL, I think. And it's not that oversized, so... Plus, I don't know if this is a women's sweater or a men's one, but, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Uh, what are we going to do first? What are we going to do first? Oh, let's do this. Do you guys remember when I had the larger version of this bag? Hold on, all my bags are stuck together. <laughs> I was wondering if inventory of thrift stores increased from after Christmas through January. Um, honestly, I am not 100% sure. I know um, a lot of people get rid of, like, their holiday decor. Like, a lot of people get rid of their holiday decor, holiday decor, like, really quickly after the holidays. And there's, like, a big influx of holiday decor um, during Christmas. Or, do like, right after Christmas time. Um, but I find here, at least, like, where I live, people are really into, like, spring cleaning. So, like, during springtime, I see, like, a lot of stuff. I feel like there's, like, a lot of stuff during spring because people are, like, cleaning out their 
closets, garages, their house, or whatever. But I feel like there's usually... I don't know. Because the... Especially, like, the Goodwills in my area, they keep track of all the items that the stores have, in a way. Because the... At least here in the Orange County Goodwills, they, um... They have a central processing center, and all of the things that get donated go there first, and then they divvy out the items to the different stores. And so that way all the stores have, like, the right, like, the same amount of items or whatever. So, yeah, I think it's different everywhere. Oh, that was you, Purple Rain. Hi, Diana. How are you? Oh, yeah, Veronica, that's no problem. I, I emailed you back last night. So, yeah, you're good. Oh, that's true style chat. Okay, sorry. I'm like, I got sidetracked. So I have um the Amy Kestenberg. This is a leather crossbody bag, but it looks like denim, which I think is so cool. And it's, uh, it has like, it's actually like suede. So it actually feels like a fabric. It's really cool, but it's leather. It has silver hardware. We have the crossbody strap right here. It is adjustable. There are two side pockets right there on the front. And then there's one here on the back. And when you open up the bag, it has a zipper pocket and then two open pockets on the inside. And there also is another compartment built into the top flap. And this goes all the way into the back of the bag. So it is very spacious. And a great little crossbody. I feel like this is a great everyday bag. It even does have little feet on the bottom. It's in great shape. It has very minimal rubbing on the corners. It's really hard to even see any of it because of the print of the leather, which I think is so cool. And I don't know. They did such a good job. Like, it really does look like denim. And this is going to be our first item. Oh, Kirsten, I did. This is actually a different bag. This is the smaller version of the bag that I had. Purple Rain actually was the one that bought the larger one. So I have the smaller version of this bag today for you guys. This is um, Amy Kestenberg. Denim printed leather crossbody bag with silver hardware. And this one's going to be how much, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for $80. It's going to be item number one. Amy Kestenberg. I love her bag so much. Especially this denim light. I think it's so fun. Okay. So that's item number one. Right, Kirsten? It's so cool. It's a great crossbody. This is how it looks on. Oh, Des Jay's calling it. Congratulations, Des. Yay! All right. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kirsten. Desk Jay called that one right before you. I look out, I'll, I'm going to keep a lookout for another one. Th these bags are so cool. I love, like, the denim look to the leather. It's so cool. Okay, next up, we have item number two. Oh, this one's really fun. Okay, this is our next item. This is a Furla tote bag, and this is in a Safiano leather. I love the print of this tote. It has these really pretty purple and pink flowers, and the background is kind of like in a, like a beige color. It's not white. It's like a, like an off-white kind of cream. Actually, yeah, a cream. And then it has the pink handles, and it's a really great size. The strap length is fantastic. And then there's the bottom right there. The bag exterior is in pretty good shape. There is a little bit of rubbing on the corners. So you have a little bit of rubbing on the corners, but the print pretty much camouflages it, so you can't really see it. 
Uh, inside is in a light pink fabric, and it has two zipper pockets, one on either side. And then you have um, the little clip that connects right there to keep the bag closed. But isn't it so pretty? I really, really, really like the print. Perfect for spring. And this is going to be item number two. This is our Furla Floral Tote. Okay, and this one's going to be $75. Okay. That one's item number two. Isn't it pretty, Kirsten? Okay, so let me put this one right there. Oh, and it does have gold hardware. I'm sorry. I forgot to point that out. Okay. Item number three is next. Oh, oh my coffee is cold now. Don't you hate when that happens? Your coffee gets cold. I want to get one of those um, mugs that like keeps your coffee warm. Those em and I think it's called Ember, but I think they have different brands. I've been seeing people finding them a lot at like thrift stores and stuff, and I'm like, oh my gosh, when am I gonna find one? Okay. Um, next up, I don't know if we have any Leos out there, but I have this really pretty Anthropology Leo mug. It says Leo right there in gold and just has like these constellation prints on there, but then it has like the giant lion right there. The inside is in this like really pretty, uh, like orange color. And this is an Anthropology mug. I think this uh, collection was, like, um, discontinued already, too. So I think these are pretty rare. Hi, Anne. How are you? This is our Anthropology Leo mug with orange interior. And this one is going to be how much for Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for $12. Um, Dawn, it's like a, an MM. Is the size like the mm never full? But hi Anne, how are you? Okay, so our mug right here is twelve dollars. That's item number three. Really pretty. One of these days, I'm gonna find a Pisces one. The only problem is three of us are Pisces in the family. <laughs> So, we're all going to be fighting over that mug. Next up, I have... This is um, pretty cool. Oh, you're back at work, Anne. <laughs> um, this is a Brahmin little crossbody shoulder bag. And this is so cool because I've never gotten... One of these. Oh, hi, Marisol. Thank you so much. Welcome to the live sale. You're all the way in New York. Where in New York are you from? I used to live in Mount Kisco. That was like in upstate New York. Um, is it in Danbury County or something? Or no, I don't remember. I was little, but missed it. I miss it. I miss the snow. It was a lot of fun. Oh, uh, wow. I'm glad you guys are here. Uh, so this is a Brahmin crossbody bag. Um, you can actually also make this into a shoulder bag. This um, the strap adjusts into a shoulder bag as well. But this is actually calf hair printed leopard skin. It also has the... <laughs> Hi, Lady Badger. Uh, but it also has the, the print on the sides as well. The... Um, the fur, or the fur is actually in pretty great shape. There's no, like, balding or anything on it. Even the back looks really good still. And, of course, we have the iconic crocodile embossed calf skin. And the interior is nice and clean. There's just one zipper pocket 
And then it also does have the little um, key fob right there on the side, and it just has a microfiber lining. But I thought this was such a cool bag. Oh, it also still does have the charm. It's right here uh, on the side. But I've, I haven't seen any of the, these bags with the leopard skin or leopard uh, print fur. And there you go. It's really cute. It's a great size. And it does... Loved. It lived, uh... <gasps> oh my gosh, Mirasol. Have you ever been to... Like, one of my core memories growing up as a kid was going to this store called Bedford Barn growing up. And that's where we always went to shop for, like, everything for, like, clothes and stuff. And... I'll never forget that place, Bedford Barn. That's where we used to go shopping all the time. It was so fun growing up in New York. And then, to make it into a shoulder bag, it has this little, like, piece right here that goes through the leather. It was really cold there, though. I remember, like, growing up, um, we we didn't have a car, because my dad had the car, but he lived in um, Virginia, because he was doing his um, residency in, what was that school called? Georgetown. So, I remember, like, in the snow, we would, be, like, walk to the grocery store, like, me and my mom, and, yeah... But yeah, that's it as a shoulder bag. It's super duper cute. A really good size. And this is item number four. So this is our Brahmin um, leopard print calf hair and black croc embossed leather crossbody. And how much is this featuring? Okay, this one's going to be $65, and this one's in really great shape. Alrighty. Cute little Brahmin right there. 65 that's item number four. <gasps> no way, Anne! Have you been? We used to have a Jollibee by my house and it closed down. Oh, Don's calling it! Item number four! Congratulations, Don! <laughs> Yay, that bag is so cute! So excited! Oh, and you're calling number three? Or did you- wait, did you call the wrong number? Or, um, let me just wait till you tell me. <laughs> Are you calling- just let me know if you're calling both or if you're just calling one of those numbers. But what are we going to do for number five? You know what I miss most, though, about uh, living in New York was the leaves. My favorite thing was jumping through the leaves, during, like, in fall. And... Oh, you want both! Congratulations, Don! That's for both of them. Woohoo! Okay, that was three and four. And that's our anthropology mug and our Brahmin. Congrats. Okay. All right, up next, number five. Oh, your daughter's a Leo. That's fantastic. I don't know. I don't think I know anyone that's a Leo. At least, not that I can remember. What was? Oh, this is their next item. Okay, up next. This one's really cute. Um, this is a little Michael Kors black Safiano wristlet. That is a great deal, and congrats! My friends and I, Pansy, was so good. 
<gasps> oh, Kirsten! That's so exciting! Fancy is so delicious, my fave! But, <laughs> right, Marisol? <laughs> um, growing up, too, I used to go to this... Um, my school was, like, in the middle of, like, a forest. And it had so many trees... So, like, all around, like, the perimeter of my school, there'd be, like, a ton of trees. And during fall, like, as a kid, I was tiny. The knee, like, the, the leaves would, like, go up to my knees. And, like, we would just run through all the leaves. And it was so much fun. I don't know. It was the best. But how cute is this little guy? Black Safiano. And then it has these little... Um, silver hearts, and that is in a silver patent leather. So we have a wristlet right here. You can remove the wristlet as well if you wanted to just use this as a coin pouch. And this opens up nice and spacious. This is perfect for change or um, your AirPods, or if you have like um, your keys, can go inside of here too. So it's really, really cute little wristlet. It's in really great condition. And this is going to be item number five. This is our black Safiano Michael Kors heart coin pouch with wristlet and silver hardware. And this is going to be how much for for this guy? What did you say? Okay, we're going to do this one for 55. And that's going to be item number five. This one is in like new condition. Okay, that's that guy. Big ball. <gasps> Ooh, Jollof rice. Oh my gosh. I think I've had that. Oh my, I miss rice. I haven't had rice in a long time. <laughs> but this is item number five. Oh, it does, also does say Michael Kors right here in black and silver. This is like, uh, has like the little metal letters. On there. Okay, so that was that. Hold on, why is my brother texting me? I think he's sending me something. Um, the pro version doesn't work. Detached. Oh, sad. My brother's sending me remote controls for the Switch. No, he's sending me, um, I, can, I think they're little, like, hand, like, the ones that connect to the Switch. I think they're all broken. But they never really use them, but I think he wants to use it. Yeah, you know, I think I have had it, oh, Maryland, but I feel like any rice is delicious. Oh my gosh, and I haven't had rice in so long. Yeah, Diana, right? You can definitely use this as a charm as well. So, really, really cute. Just, like, put it on your bag. Okay. Um, up next, <laughs> we got item number six. And what do I have? Oh, I have to show you guys this mug. I just thought it was so funny. I'm not selling it, though, but <laughs> it says, hey, girl. I just thought it was fun. Alrighty, and now I have, this is a Vince um, hobo shoulder bag, and it's in black pebbled leather, and then this is a embossed python, so it's just like embossed, it's still calf skin too, but it's embossed uh, print like that, and then we have the shoulder strap, it is adjustable, but it's only, like it doesn't extend to be like a crossbody or anything, but it's a great little shoulder, uh, shoulder bag, black leather. It's in really great shape. All the corners are really good. There's the bottom. It doesn't have any feet on it. It has a magnetic snap up at the top. And then the interior, we just have a zippered pocket and then an uh, open pocket on the other side, a slip pocket. And this is item number six. Okay. 
Okay. This is our black Vince hobo shoulder bag with embossed python detail and silver hardware. Okay, we're going to do this one for 50 and this one is in like new condition. This one's in really great shape. Number six. I can hear the little kids running down the stairs. The kids actually weren't with us during Christmas um, and Christmas Eve. So they left Christmas Eve morning and they went to spend Christmas with their dad and his, like their dad's family. Because he um, drove over, because he lives and works in... Oregon, I think. <laughs> and yeah, so they just got back yesterday after um, they went to Universal Studios. Okay, so number seven. Eliza! Eliza! Zachary! Oh, they're gone. What happened? Wait, I don't even see the mess. Oh, there it is. We have sent my clothes. We'll see if I buy more. Can I add the box? Um. Oh, Kathleen. Yeah, we haven't um we haven't shipped out yet because yesterday was actually a post office holiday, which I totally just forgot. So, um. Things will start going out again today. So you're totally good, Kathleen, if you want to add anything. Hi, Purse Curator. Zachary and Eliza. Hey, Zachary. I'm telling you kids so, you can't, so they can say hi. Hey, Zach. You guys want to say hi? <gasps> hey, hi. I like your shirt. Hey, wait, come here. Hey, come here. Hi. You, they didn't see you. Go in here. Hi. See, they can't see you. Come here, Eliza. I'm gonna come in. Oh, I have something for you. <gasps> ah, yeah. Hi. Ah. Whoa. Whoa. Say hi, Eliza. Hi. <gasps> you wanna? You want your surprise? Yes. Uh, where is it? Can I find it? Woo! Your so slipper. I'm only gonna give you one of the surprises right now. Okay. Are you excited? Yes. You want me to open it? We can open it. Okay. You want me to help you? He does the tape. <laughs> he never wants. He wants to do everything himself. Uh, oh my gosh. Chick fil A sounds so good. He's opening the little thing that I got him right now. You gotta open it and then show it to everyone, okay? You're doing an unboxing. Hey, you're not. You have to tell them. Hey, guys. Hey guys. <laughs> what is that? It's so squishy. It's, it looks like is there slime inside? It looks like oh! it's food of cream seeds. You show it to them. It looks like it's food of cream seeds. Hold it close to the camera so they can see it. Show them how it looks inside. It looks like cream cheese in there. Whoa, gross. Let me see. Whoa, that's crazy. You like it? Yeah. Yeah? All right, go. I think um, you're going to go. Get, you guys are going to go have lunch right now. Yeah. Okay. Ah, there you go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. I got him. I got them like these little squishy ball things. I don't know. I I think these are like really popular amongst the kids right now, and they had like a bunch of them at the Goodwill for like two bucks each. So I was like, let me pick some up, and yeah. 
I know, Stylecha. <laughs> He's going to be playing with that thing the whole day. He really likes, like, Play-Doh and, like, uh, slime and stuff. So... <laughs> oh, okay, so the let me a quick backstory. Elizo isn't actually his real name. Um his name is Hendrix, but when he b before he was born, um when they they're doing the ultrasound, they like they said that he was actually going to be a girl. And so we were like, "Oh my gosh, my sister's going to have a daughter. I'm going to have a niece." And we were so excited. And then we were thinking of names, and I was like, oh my gosh, you should name the baby Eliza, just like Eliza Doolittle from My Fair Lady, and then we'll speak to her in a British accent, and then when she grows up, she's going to have like a little British Cockney accent. And we had like this whole thing going, we we're only going <laughs> we to um, let her watch like those little British kid TV shows, like Peppa Pig and stuff. And then like... I think it was like a, f a month or two before he was due. They did another ultrasound. They were like, we made a mistake. It's actually going to be a boy. And then I was like, we can name the baby Elizo <laughs> instead of Eliza. And that's where Elizo came from. I haven't stopped calling him Elizo since. So, um, yeah, I just call him Elizo. In Nashville. Oh, first creator, have a good flight. Or are you driving? Oh, yeah, and you're flying airport. Duh. I'll have a good flight back. Oh, I've never had the tortilla soup at Chick-fil-A. That sounds delicious. Mmm. I like the spicy chicken sandwich. That's my favorite. Alright, up next. I don't know if um, any of you guys are a fan of clutches, but I have this amazing Claire Vivier um, Kiss Lock clutch in this super soft black perforated leather. And it kind of looks like fish scales. It's like the bottom part of the circle has been cut out or like cut. So it has like this really cool texture. And then it has silver hardware. It just says Claire V right there. Thank you, Carmen. I'm, ex I'm interested to see which name he likes the most. Like when he grows up, if he's going to be like, I like Hendrix or Elizo. The funny thing is though, I've convinced like half the family that his name is actually Elizo. Like my aunt's. In the Philippines, they all call him Eliza, <laughs> which I think is really, really funny. And yeah, so I don't know. But this is so cute. The exterior leather is in fantastic condition. Um, the only thing is, there's just like slight marks on the hardware, like very, very light. And then when you open it up, you just have up. Oh, you do have the dust bag. It's right inside, and then it's chambray lining it's super clean inside of there and the um all of claire vivier's like bags like leather products are made locally in los angeles so that's really cool and this is gonna be item number seven <laughs> thanks molly but yeah also we kind of slightly succeeded with the british accent thing with elizo some words he says with a British accent, but I don't know if you guys have ever heard, like, Zach speak, like, a lot. He actually has, like, a slight British accent. So, all of those British TV shows that we made Eliza watch growing up, Zach was the one that caught on. So, he has, like, a slight British accent. And, like, every time he starts school, the teacher always asks if we're from, like, England. Because Eliza, or because Zach has, like, a, a slight British accent. So, I think it's really, really funny. Ugh, Dawn, that sounds so delicious. Right? I th Eliza, I think, is such a cool name. And I actually looked it up, and, like, there's, like, no one named Eliza. Like, it's not, like, a name that anyone has. So I feel like that would be such a cool name to actually name your child. So if anyone names their kid Eliza, let me know. <laughs> okay, so this is our black perforated Claire Vivier um, clutch with silver hardware. And how much was this feed ring? Okay, this one's $75. I believe the retail for this is around 300 something, I think. Yeah, Claire Vivia bags are pretty expensive, but they're really, really nice quality and the leathers she uses are amazing. Okay.
Now, uh, this is random, but I have, like, this super large Obey tote. And I just thought this would be a really great, like, grocery bag, shopping bag. And it uh, has, like, a fruit print on it. It just says Obey. And then the inside is just in, like, a canvas. There's one interior pocket just right there. <laughs> Diana. <laughs> But uh, the bag's in pretty great shape, too. Really good condition. It kind of reminds me of uh, those Comme des Garçons totes that are kind of like this. I actually have one of those. Um, but this is going to be item number, I think it's six or seven. Yeah, I think these, like, this bag retails for, like, $70, I think. So they're pretty expensive. Obey the, yes, obey the fruits. Um, obey... Large Obey Fruit Tote. And how much are we doing this one for, Vadrian? Okay, we're going to do this one for $30. <laughs> Carmen. You, it's funny. The boys have actually been scouted before. But my sister's just like, uh, I don't think you guys want them to be models or anything like that because these kids are... Crazy. Also, they make crazy faces when you ask to take pictures of them. <laughs> when they're just, like, hanging out in normal, they look normal. But, like, when you ask them to smile, like, I don't think... Have I ever shown you guys Eliza's school photos? Because he makes, like, this face when you ask him to smile in photos. Um, I'm going to look for it. At the next live, I'll show you guys what it looks like. But he goes like this. Like, it's like Eliza's... All of his school photos are like this. He's either like not looking, he's like looking to the side like this, or he's like looking for like this. And he goes, <laughs> in all his school photos. And there's only two of them, or three of them. I think there's three. Oh, I will keep an eye out, Diana, for an etro. I haven't seen any of those bags yet. The only time I've seen them is at a consignment store, and they're, like, really expensive. So, I am keeping an eye out. <laughs> but, yeah. Like, literally, his photos are, like... Kirsten, <laughs> right? Like, the, it's like those photos that, like, are on TV shows when they show, like, the really funny school photos. Like, that's literally Elizo. Oh, my gosh. And then even the teacher is like, yeah, the photographer had him, like, take a couple photos, and they all look like that. <laughs> uh... But that's Eliza for you. Okay, so that, that was number seven. Up next, round number eight. Let me text my sister and ask her if she can send... Maybe she has the photo of it. I know I took a photo of it a while ago, but I'm, I know I'm not going to be able to find it because I have so many photos on my phone. Well, let me text her. She probably like, has it saved or something because I feel like she's always like... Or maybe even John. Okay, I text my sister. Hopefully she sends me a photo. Oh, Diana, that Rothy's tote was amazing, right? Ah, uh, so, so good. I still can't believe we found that. All right, up next... I have, this is a vintage coach crossbody bag. Um, this one is made in USA. And it's in this really pretty, like, burgundy color with brass hardware. We have the crossbody strap right here. Um, straps are removable, so you can use this as a clutch also. And this is the one that has the really chunky, like, zipper, which is nice, too. I really like that. And it just has one interior pocket. And this is the one that has, um, 
like the serial, like the date code serial number thing is actually like a separate piece that's like attached onto there. So it's really cool. But this was made in New York City, USA. Yeah. So cool, right? I've only ever found a handful of these that have that kind, like they have the, um, this, the registration number or whatever that looks like that. Basic bag. Um, okay, so thank you, Tanya. So this is the Coach Basic Bag Burgundy. Um, Veronica, yes, I'll show you just one second. Let me just type this one out. Oh, do I have two number sevens? Which one's the other one? Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys, I, mix, I mixed up the numbers. So, the Obeto is actually number eight. The Claire V is number seven. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I got too caught up in this, in the, in the story. So eight is the obey tote. And that was 30. And then this one is number nine. This is the burgundy um, coach basic crossbody bag with brass hardware made in USA. And this one was how much, Adrian? No, not yet. Okay, this one's gonna be 85. Okay, um, so that's number nine. Okay, item number seven was a clear, no, you can't put a long strap on it, unfortunately. Um, it doesn't really have, there's no spot for a crossbody strap on here. So, unfortunately, no. There may be a way to like, put one in here like if you have like a chain one you might be able to just put it through the little holes in the sides underneath the hardware um but that yeah i don't there's really no way to attach one onto it there, it doesn't have any d-rings or anything so hi mel um but this was number seven and I think it was, who was it? Um, six and seven. So Veronica wanted to see. So this is number seven. And then number six was the Vince Camuto shoulder bag. Or the Vince shoulder bag. Which was this one. Right here. Okay, so that was, those were those. All right, so that was number nine. <laughs> okay, number 10 is up next. Oh, also, don't forget to enter the giveaway. I'm going to leave that link again uh, for anyone that hasn't had a chance to enter. There you go. And our question is, how are you celebrating New Year's Eve? Right there. All right, up next. Oh, um, I have a really cute one. This is our next item. This is a little mini mouse coach charm. So cute, it's in pink. She has some glittery little skates on there. It's in like new condition. There's the back, just says Disney coach. And it has a, like a gunmetal colored hardware. You have the little clasp right there. There's a little ring and then they have a little coach hang tag right there. Hi Shiloh! You're welcome Veronica. But there's this guy right there. And that's gonna be number 10. This is our pink Minnie Mouse uh, coach keychain charm with gunmetal hardware. And how much is this feed right? Eight. 
Yeah. Okay. This one's going to be $45. That's going to be number 10. All right. She's a cutie. Use this for your keys or like a little charm for your bag. And then next up, we have, oh, I always forget that I still have this. Um, this is a brand new Fendi scarf. And this is a cashmere wool blend. And it has the cursive F monogram on here. Um, one side has the print, the other side does not. And this is new from net porte still has the tag on there from net porte And looks like that. This is, oh, this is nice and warm actually. This is number 11. This is our, this is the Carl scarf also. This is the Fendi Carl scarf in tan. New way of tags. And this one's gonna be how much for Adrian? It's pretty, right? You can also wear it like this, I think. I have like a fat neck, so I feel like my scarf, the way I can wear my scarves is like limited. You can also kind of wear it like this. Um, so this is um, 300 and we think we lowered it to, okay, let's do 325. This is like an $800 scarf, I think, is the retail on this. So that's number 11, 325 for our Fendi scarf. I know, a deal. Okay, so that's this guy. And then number 12 is up next. It's such a pretty scarf, though. Oh, Dodo Bird, yes! That one already sold, I'm sorry. Uh, number 10 was the Mickey Mouse, or uh, the Minnie Mouse keychain. So that's this guy right here. It's just a little Minnie Mouse skating keychain. Okay, right. Number 12 is gonna be... Oh! I have this really pretty Kate Spade. And this is um, in a really beautiful mustard yellow color. It's quilted. It has really minimal rubbing on the corners. I think this one has the, this corner has the most. The back right corner. Um, the front corners don't really have any marks on them. Um, we have a turn lock right there. There's a nice back pocket for your cell phone. And you can uh, wear this as a shoulder bag or it extends to a crossbody. You can wear it two ways. And then the interior looks like this. It still has a little care booklet inside. And there's just one interior pocket. It still has like the protective thing over the little Kate Spade tag inside. And the interior lining is nice and clean. And it has light gold hardware. It's super cute, right, Veronica? Oh, that's awesome, Diana. Okay, so this is number 12. This is our mustard yellow quilted Kate Spade flat bag with light gold hardware and convertible strap. Okay, this one is $70. That's number 12. 
And then up next, we have, oh, number 13. <gasps> what are we gonna do for number 13? Okay. Um, lucky number 13. Oh, I still have this guy. Oh, O'Maryland is calling number 12. I'm sorry, Carmen. O'Maryland called that one right before you. Congratulations, O'Maryland. That one's going to you. Our yellow mustard Kate Spade. Okay. This is going to be... Number 13, and this is a beautiful Chanel crossbody bag, and this is in a beautiful, like, burgundy color. It's quilted, and I love this one because it has, like, that nice, thick, like, calfskin leather. So this one can take a lot of wear and it's not going to like wear easily. Uh, it has silver hardware. This is accordion style too. So it can expand, but like when you don't have a ton of stuff in it, it stays flat, which I really like. And the best thing about this bag is it has a secret pocket right here, which is amazing. And you, can, you can't fit like the largest iPhone in there, but if you have a smaller iPhone, it'll fit inside of there. Um, but you can definitely fit, like, your AirPods, um, inside of there if you want it. Or, like, a, whatever, if you have, like, some cards, those can fit into that little pocket. So it's really, really cool. Oh, okay. Um, Carmen, did you want it? Oh, Marilyn says that, um, you can have it if you'd like it. Hold on, my dad is texting me. Okay. But, um, yeah, Carmen, let me know. Because old Marilyn said that you can have it if you want it. Uh, turn lock opens up like this. It also does have the convertible straps, too, so you can wear it as a shoulder bag, or you can wear it as a crossbody. Or, what's also really cool is that you can wear it like this. And I will include um, the little clip if you want. That There's like a little clip that you can attach to the interior straps, and then it'll keep it um, taut, and then you can wear it like a little shoulder, like a little handbag, and just have the little leather handle pieces sticking out, which I think is super duper cute. So you can wear it like that. Uh, interior looks like this. So again, they have the, it's nice and spacious because you have the three compartments. Um, there's a the front one, the middle, and then the back is the one that has a zipper pocket back there. And there also is a back pocket on this guy right here, which is great. And how much was this one, Adrian? Okay, so this is number 13. This is our maroon... Oh, that's the burgundy. Burgundy uh, Chanel quilted accordion flat bag with silver hardware and secret pocket. I have to put that in there because it's my favorite thing about the bag. Um, also, really quickly, um, it's in pretty good shape on the exterior. It's very minimal, like, rubbing on the corners. It's really, really nice. Um, right now, okay, so we had this one at $29.50. I'm going to do a little discount on it and do $2,800. Um, so $150 off if anyone's interested in that one. A little after Christmas special since it's item number 13. Okay. 
And that was number 13. Oh, uh, here it is as like a crossbody. So cute. And then as a shoulder bag. Okay. Thanks, Kathleen. It's a really cute one. I really, really like this guy. And I love that secret pocket. I think that's so nifty. I've never had one of these with like, I've, I've never even seen one that has a secret pocket before. So I think that's really, really cool. All right, Carmen, this, that one's going to you. You're gonna get that yellow Kate Spade. Thank you again, oh, Marilyn. That's so nice of you. All right. Number 14 is up next. Kirsten. Oh, actually, I do have some belt bags. Hold on. Let me see what I got right here. I have a couple, I think. Uh, so 14. Let's do a belt bag. Um, I have... A Nanushka, Nan Nanushka. That's how you pronounce it. This is the Nanushka belt bag, and it's in this really pretty, like embossed, like crocodile, like lizard leather. I think it's so so pretty. I don't exactly know like what kind of lizard print this is, but it's beautiful, and it's in this gorgeous like brown. Um, I really like the length of the belt too. Because it, you can really extend it or make it smaller, which is great. And this is such a fantastic, like, kind of, like, body bag as well. Just carry it like that. I think it's really nice. And I also do have this. It's the same exact bag in pink as well. And this one is a croc emboss. This one is a little bit of a different style. But it's also some sort of, like, alligator. Probably the alligator. This alligator is smaller. Um, but this one has, like, a lot more variation in the color of the leather, which I think is really cool. And this one um, is a little bit more of, like, a, f like, flat in color, if that makes sense. They're both the same exact um, style. So, and there's a front pocket right here. It just has one interior slip pocket, and then you have a back pocket right there. Oh, had a great Christmas. Hi, Laura. Oh, yeah. Happy um, Kwanzaa and happy um, Hanukkah to everyone as well. Anyone that's celebrating. I love the texture of it, too. I really like this one. Like, the, the way that it's embossed is really nice. It's, like, a really, like, deep embossing, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. The texture is fantastic. Uh, so this is the brown Nanushka leather belt bag. I'm going to say it's alligator embossed. With gold hardware. And this is how much for you, For the brown one? Okay. And this one is 85. The brown one. And then the pink one is going to be 85 as well. Pink Nanushka Rock embossed belt bag with gold hardware. And that's $85. That's number 15. So, 14 and 15. All right. So those are those two. I think I have some more belt bags. Right? Agreed. Okay, so I have those. I have another one. Where is it? Um. Okay, I also have... This is a Rebecca Minkoff. 
And this is just in a black leather and it's quilted with the studs. And these uh, these are silver. It's the hardware. Um, this one is a size small belt though. So the belt size is a size small. Um, so it's not one that's, unless you're like super petite, um, can you wear it like a body bag? Um, you can attach like a different belt to it like this, like it'll come off and you can just attach a different belt to it if you wanted, but it is a small sized belt, um, zipper across the top and it opens to a microfiber lining with just one interior pocket inside of there. Um, Carmen, oh, I actually do have a couple sunglasses. Okay, so this is, uh, number 16. Number 16. Black quilted Rebecca Minkoff belt bag with silver studs and hardware. And how much was this, Adrian? Size small belt. Yeah, we're going to do this one for 55 This one is in really great shape as well. It's in, like, new condition. Okay, that's number 16. Oh, Sally! Um, Vadrin, have you, have the, those gone out yet? Oh, Sally, Vadrin hasn't been able to send those out yet, but we will send those out this week. All right, uh, 17 is up next. And I might have a couple more belt bags, but I don't have them out here. So I'll grab them in a little bit. But sunglasses, um, I don't know if you've seen these. I think you have, Carmen. I have um, two Celine sunglasses right now. Uh, this I have this is the larger pair and these are in like an opaque um, like mauve and like opaque mauve color and they have like a really thick plastic frame lens they're really pretty um, gray it has like a gray lens and then it has silver little studs and then it just says Celine and gold right there on the side and this is um, old Celine. So this, this is the Phoebe Philo Celine. They're beautiful. These are really good size. And as far as cat eyes go, I actually really like, this is like, a, it's not like a super uh, like pointy cat eye, if that makes sense. So I really like this style. This is number 17. So this is our Celine Opaque um, opaque mauve sunglasses with gray lens. And these are in pretty good shape. Very, very minimal marks on the frame and the lenses. Um, in really, really good shape. I actually really like these. Okay, uh, the color is really cool on these too. I feel like it's a unique color. But one that I feel is still pretty, um, like, neutral. But it's still, like, a pop. You know what I mean? Because it's still kind of, like, a neutral tone. How much are these, Vadrian? Okay, and these are 125 for these guys. Yeah, these are a good size. I like these a lot. And then the other sunglasses that I have are also Celine. These are a plastic lens as well, but they're a little bit smaller than those, but they have a really good width, if that makes sense, but my head is way too large, I think, for these. I don't like it when my eyebrows show when I wear sunglasses, because I think it makes me look crazy. And I have, like, uneven eyebrows, so I'm, I feel like it makes them look even more uneven. <laughs> but um, pretend that they're larger. But they are a opaque like red so they're slightly see-through and then they have a gray lens these are also in great shape and these are also um 
old Celine with the accent over the E. So these are the Phoebe Philo Celine sunglasses. Um, silver studs, and then the Celine part on the side is in gold. And this is going to be item number 18. And... This one... These are our opaque red sunglasses. Opaque red um, Celine sunglasses. No, they're too small. <laughs> I need them to be a little larger. Okay, uh, how much are these, Adrian? Oh, that's awesome, Carmen. Uh-oh, I think someone dropped something in the kitchen. I think it was Eliza. <laughs> Wait, how much is this, Adrian? Sorry. Okay, these are also 125 but that's awesome, Carmen. I'm so glad that you like them. They're such cool glasses. Like, honestly, so fun. Okay, so these are those. So these are um, also Celine. And I have one more pair of sunglasses um, that I have right here. Actually, actually, wait, I think I have more. But I don't know where they are. Um... This isn't our last pair, but this is the last one that I have right now at the moment. I can grab some more in a sec. I think I have two more pairs. Um, this brand is called um, Wyatt. And okay, don't laugh when I put these on. But I look like B.D. Wong from Law & Order. But I feel like they're kind of cool. Like they're definitely a vibe. Uh, nice and round. These are Wyatt sunglasses. And they have a brushed gold um, metal frame. And the lenses are super cool. Like, it's like the frame inside of the metal is a clear plastic. And then the lens is like floating inside, if that makes sense. And it's just a like gray lens. They're really awesome. And then these, this is what the sides look like. They have a little nose piece too, which is great. We love a nose piece. I actually don't hate these. I normally don't like around sunglasses, but these are pretty cool. I just have like a crooked head, so I'd have to like fix the way these fit on me. But these are gonna be item number 19. These are Wyeth um, brushed gold round sunglasses with gray lens. And how much are these, Adrian? Like, these are pretty cool, right? Okay, these are going to be... Let's just do $40 on these. These retail, like, over, like, $100 on these. They're pretty cool. They're, like, a really unique sunglass. <laughs> I just keep staring at myself wearing them. Um, but that is number 19. Our Wyatt sunglasses. Okay, let me go grab a couple more things really quickly. I'll grab those other sunglasses because I think I just have them over there. And then um, I'm going to grab a soda. I feel like I need a diet orange soda. So I'll be right back. Um, let me know if you guys want me to grab anything else um, or like look for anything else. And I will be right back. So just talk amongst yourselves. Vadrian will let me know if you guys say anything that you guys want me to look for.
Okay, I am back. It's so good. Ooh, is that good? I want to smell that hypatia. I've always wanted to try those replica perfumes. All right. I also forgot. Already, is anyone a size eight and a half in shoes? Because I do have some shoes from mom that she gave me. Um, and yeah. Oh, that's cool, Kathleen. Also, hi, Lady Badger. Okay. Up next, let's do, um, oh, I do have the sunglasses really quickly, so I'll do those just really fast. But, um, if anyone's a size eight and a half, I have a bunch of shoes. Um, I have these diff sunglasses. Oh, you're an eight, Anne? <laughs> Sorry, mom's an eight and a half. Cassandra is an eight as well. She might have an eight or two. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, but these are diff sunglasses and a tortoise shell. So brown tortoise shell diff sunglasses. How much are these, Adrian? I don't remember. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, these are just twenty-five dollars. That's number twenty. Twenty-five. So I have these guys. These are great size. I like the color of the tortoise shell too, because it's kind of like uh, like a taupey color. And then these are. Um, also diff. Hi, Lakanna. Oh, that's so awesome, Lakanna. Yes, I would love to see. Merry Christmas. Um, and then I have these diff sunglasses. These are like a large cat eye. These are also really great too. It's like a cat eye that I feel like would look good on a lot of face shapes because normally cat eyes I don't like on me, but this is like a good one. It's not, like not too cat eye-ish, right? Um, oh, Kirsten, that's awesome to hear. Okay, I have, I have some shoes. Um, this is going to be item number uh, 21. These are black diff large cat eye sunglasses with black lens. And how much are these, Adrian? Okay, we're going to do these for $30, and these are in really great shape, um, really, yeah, these are in pretty great shape, very minimal marks on here, and that's a uh, number 21, and I'll do a couple shoes, um, again, they're probably all around eight and a half, and, oh, Kirsten's called number 21, congratulations, Kirsten! Yay! These sunglasses are fantastic. They're so good. I love Jeff sunglasses. I actually have quite a few in my personal collection of sunglasses, which is probably too many. I have so many sunglasses. I actually think I'm going to do a sale pretty soon of stuff from my personal collection, like handbags and sunglasses, because I have so much stuff. And, okay, so there's that. Up next. Ooh, okay. These are very fitting because it is very rainy. Oh, these are actually a size 8. Okay. So these are some hunter boots that I bought my mom that she never wore. They're size 8. <laughs> I got their, they're 50 bucks. 47.50 from, um... What is they called from um, Crossroads? And I don't know, like, what that... It's like, what did they do to this to get rid of, like, the wrinkles like this? I think you have to, like... I forgot what they put on the shoe, on the boots. But I know you put something on here 
to make those like go away. But um, I have some Hunter boots. These are these are a size eight. I'm just gonna sell them for how much I bought them for. So these will be fifty bucks for these. These are size eight, and they're like in a. It's like a gray green color, so it's a nice neutral color. They're in pretty good shape. Not too much wear. And these are number 22. These are Hunter boots, size 8 in gray, green. And yeah, these are going to be $50. I can't believe mom never wore them. But that's number 22, 50 bucks. If anyone's interested in these guys. There's nothing wrong. They just have, like, those wrinkles on them. But I know, like, there's a way to remove them, like, like some sort of conditioner or something that you put on them, and then it just removes it. But, yeah. There's, like, nothing wrong with the shoes. And they have, like, the silver buckles on the side. <laughs> Diana. Uh, where are the perfume around while shopping? <laughs> Hipatia, that's awesome. Okay, I'll put these right there. Um, up next, 23. Uh, where is the other shoe of this? Okay, these are size eight and a half. And these are some just like black J. Crew um, ballet flats or not ballet flats but like flats and these are size eight and a half then pretty good shape and these are just going to be twenty dollars so black j crew flat size 8.5 and again these are from mom that one is twenty dollars item number 23 Um, Kathleen, let me actually measure. Hold on. Where is my measuring tape? It was just right here, and I lost it. Am I going crazy? I just had my measuring tape right here. Oh, here it is. Um, okay, the widest part you have it in a, oh my gosh, this is hard to do. It's about five and a half inches. <laughs> I wonder if <clears throat> my calf can fit in here. I know my foot's not gonna fit in here, but. Oh, if my calf can fit in here, anyone's calf can fit in here because I have like really thick calves but my calves fit just my foot doesn't fit into the shoe oh now it's stuck <laughs> no <sighs> oh my gosh that was actually really hard okay <laughs> now I'm sweating uh, okay, so number 24 <laughs> is up next, and I have, oh, I have this guy, it's pretty cute, 
<laughs> um, what is this? So bad. This is a Marc Jacobs, like, wristlet. Or not wristlet, it's a clutch. It's in a really pretty... It's trouble. <laughs> oh, Marilyn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a Marc Jacobs fold-over clutch. It's in this really pretty Tiffany blue color. It does have, like, some slight discoloration just right there. I wonder if conditioner will work on this. Hold on. Um, let's see. Hi, Gem Drops. How are you? How was your thrift trip? Yeah, it doesn't affect it at all. The color is still... It still has a little bit of color loss just right there in the middle. It's because there's a mirror underneath it. And just like from carrying it, it does have, like there's like a mirror right there. So it kind of left like the mark of it. So when you're carrying it, it just has like the extra friction. Um, there also is a scratch just right there down the side. And it's a lot darker because I just put condition on it, but usually it's like a lighter mark. Um, it does have a little musical note right there that says MJ. <laughs> Style chat. Um, again, mirror right there. There's a zipper pocket inside. And then up top, you can get there's a compartment up there with the one interior slip pocket. There is some discoloration right at the top, but I think that's the glue from when they were putting the bag together. And it um, has just yellowed over time. But that is going to be this guy. How much is this going to be, Adrian? Okay, this is our Mark Jacobs um, Tiffany Blue Fold Over Clutch with Silver Hardware. And... Wait, what did you say, Vader? How much is it? Oh, olive oil. Is that, like, yeah, I think you're right, Molly. That's what it is, I think. Um, we're going to do this one for 55. And that's number 24 for our Marc Jacobs. Okay, 25. Same Tanya. The rain never, whenever it's raining, I don't want to leave the house. But that's 24. I forgot to move that one over. Oh, oh Marilyn's calling it. Congratulations, oh, Marilyn. Number 24 is going to you. It's such a cute clutch. You're going to love it. The color is so pretty, and the leather is so soft. Oh, Molly, no worries. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, so we're good. Okay, 25. Oh, okay, this is so cute. This is a little kid's backpack, but I figured I'd try it anyway and see if anyone's interested in it. Um, this is a tiny little Totoro, like, child's backpack, like the strap is for a child but it's so cute it's in really great shape it's nice and clean it's super soft and who doesn't love Totoro there's a little front zipper pocket right there there's a little pom-pom too on the zipper pull and then here is the interior just gray fabric lining it's so stinking cute it's a little Totoro backpack I love the color too, oh Maryland. It's a really pretty one. I like that Tiffany blue color. Uh, this is our Totoro Kids backpack. And this is how much we are in for this guy? Okay, we're gonna do this one for $20 if anyone's interested in Totoro. It makes me want a baby. <laughs> I wish I had a baby that could carry this backpack right now. <gasps> Vadrian, can we give it to that baby that you're babysitting? 
That baby only likes Toy Story, though. Huh? Um, looks like, oh, Cassandra's calling it. Oh, Anne, I'm so sorry. Cassandra called that one right before you. Man, I didn't know you guys like little Totoro backpacks. They're so cute. But well, congratulations, Cassandra. That one's going to you, our little Totoro backpack. So cute. Totoro is my favorite. All right, little Toto, right over there. And I forgot to mark that one. Okay, 26 is up next. Okay, and I will. You know I love that stuff too, so we are... We are one and the same in in that. Both love a good Totoro anything. Okay, up next, um, I have... I don't even know what to show next. Mm -mm -mm. Oh! Okay. Um, I actually have little kids Birkenstocks. Um, Eliza, I bought these for Eliza when he was little. And he does not like wearing sandals. So we have these little kids, little Birkenstocks in blue. Very minimal wear on them. Um, this is a child size 9. So... Just little tiny Birkenstocks for your tiny little children in your lives. And this is in uh, navy. Uh, Kathleen, actually, yeah, I should. Let me go. I'll grab them right after I put this one up. Um, so this is 26. This is our kids navy blue Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks, child size nine. And this is how much, Adrian? Yeah. Okay, let's do these just for $20. If anyone's interested, that's going to be item number 26. They're a kid size nine. Oh, Ashley's calling him. Congrats, Ashley. Yay. I'm so bummed. To this day, Eliza still doesn't like to wear broken socks. And I'm like, Eliza, they're so cute. The funny thing is, they love Uggs. Like, Zach, Eliza, and Cade, they all have Uggs because they love the warm fuzzies on their feet. And the thing, though, with Eliza is he doesn't want to wear socks when he wears them because... He's like, I want to feel the fuzzy things on my feet. And I'm like, Eliza, those shoes are going to smell. <laughs> um, okay. But let me go grab some um, pouches and wristlets and stuff that I have. So just give me one second. I think they're just actually right over there. Um, okay. So then we're on 27 up next. I don't remember. So I don't forget what number we're on. Oh, actually, they're literally right over there. Okay. Let me just move these shoes. Okay. Up next, I have... Uh, oh, this isn't a wristlet, though. Um... But we'll just do it anyway. I have, this is a white Rebecca Minkoff soft piano envelope clutch. It's in white soft piano leather, and then it has this gold zipper trim on it. And then this Rebecca Minkoff in gold on the back. Um, open it up, and it has, like, six built-in card slots. And it's just, like, open on the interior. Okay, this is our white Rebecca 
Minkoff, Safiano, um, envelope clutch with gold zipper details. And this is how much food in? This is in really great shape too. It's in, yeah, it's in really good condition. There's no like rubbing or anything on the corners. This one is $30 and that's number 27. And then 28. What else do I have over here? I have this um, Patricia Nash wristlet. <laughs> really, Sarah? Yeah, it's not even that cold here, but the, the kids love them. I don't know. Like, yeah. Elizo is obsessed, like, wearing his Uggs. He loves it. And so is Zachary. So, um, brown, Patricia Nash wristlet. Just says Patricia Nash right there. And inside has, uh, looks like four built-in card slots. There's a slip pocket on one side and then another slip pocket over there. And just the microfiber lining and then the removable wristlet up top. Uh, how much is this one, Vadrian? Patricia Nash wristlet. East Coast weather is. <laughs> okay, and this one is going to be $40. And that's number 28. And then 29. Patricia Nash little wristlet right there. I have this little Michael Kors um, wristlet wallet. This is in black pebbled leather. And then we have the white leather flowers with the silver studs. Oh, nice, Veronica, lunchtime. My mom was making spinach artichoke dip. I cannot believe it. She's, she's crazy. Front pocket right here, nice and clean. And you can get into that without undoing the little snap right here. But when you open the snap, you get into the rest of the wallet. There's a clear ID, lots of card slots. There's two slip pockets there. And then you have a cell phone um, pocket right here. And this will fit the largest iPhone inside of there. And then you have another zipper compartment up top. And it looks like that on the inside. And the wristlet on this is removable as well. And this one is in really great shape too. All the corners are really nice, nice and clean inside and out. There's no marks. The hardware looks pretty good. Uh, very minimal marks on like the um, hardware, just like some light scratches from normal wear. And this one is gonna be number 29. are black Michael Kors wristlet wallet with flower details and silver hardware and this is how much Adrian also the wristlet on this is removable if you wanted to take it off that's it mm-hmm Okay, this one is $45, and that's item number 29. Here's one more look at this guy. Super cute. I, I really do like the little flower details right there. It's really cute. Uh, then up next, I have this little guy right here. This is a rag and bone wallet on a chain. And this is in a mustard color. Um, the front is in suede and then the back is in regular leather. 
which is nice so that like when it rubs against your clothes this isn't going to like get crazy with the suede um there is though a little bit of discoloration right here that's from the rubbing on the clothes so you do have some slight discoloration right there along the bottom of that back piece of leather um you have the chain and then leather combo crossbody strap uh the chain though is removable you can pop it off right here in the interior so you can just use this as a clutch or a larger sized wallet there's a front zipper pocket right here um blind in leather it's nice and clean and then in the back, you have six built-in card slots. And then again, just all lined in that same color mustard leather. It's really, really pretty. The color is gorgeous on here. Uh, the only signs of wear, really, um, just that on the back, just right there. A, like a little bit of like that discoloration right at the base of the suede. And... It has a little snap button. Snap works really, really well. And again, you can use this as a crossbody or as a clutch. And then when you wear it crossbody, the length is like that. The length also, it's not adjustable. This is just, um, it just has that one length on there. So this is item number 30. So rag and bone suede and leather mustard colored wallet on chain with um, gold hardware. I also do like the hardware on this. It's really nice. I like the shape of the chain. And this is how much, Peter? Okay, this one's 75. That's number 30. There we go. And then, what else do I have over here? I also have this little guy. This is a Kate Spade. It's almost like a, it's just a little wristlet. Um, you can't remove the little wristlet portion though that's attached to the pull. Uh, when you open it up, though, it just has three card slots. So you can use this as a wallet or as a pouch. Um, you can still put other things inside of here, too. Like, I think you can fit your phone inside of here. Yeah, phone fits. And you can zip that up still. That's great. But yeah, it's in really great shape. Nice and clean on the inside and outside the leather is in great shape and it has light gold hardware cute little bristlet that's number 31 okay black um domed kate spade wallet pebbled leather and light gold hardware and how much was this fade range It's not floral. That was a Michael Kors. Yeah. Also, has anyone, have you guys finished watching Emily in Paris yet? I just finished watching the last episode last night. Vadrian, did you find it? Okay, this one's $40. Oops, I accidentally put 409 I meant $40. Uh, but yeah, I finished watching the last episode of Emily in Paris last night. <gasps> it is so good. I cannot believe the ending. I cannot wait to see what happens. Yeah, there's uh, this little recipe right here. Wristlet wallet. Okay, 32 is up next. And 
Oh, I have this little guy. So this is a Dooney and Burke um, little crossbody bag. This is new with tags. Um, it still has the original tags on here. This retail for $188. I have the strap. I didn't want to take it out of the packaging. So it's just right inside here. It's a crossbody strap. Interior has a zipper pocket and then two slip pockets inside of there. And there's also one little front pocket. This also will fit your, the largest iPhone will fit inside of there perfectly. Ah, oh, Carmen, okay, yes. We have to discuss after you watch that episode. It is so good. Um, but this is just an ostrich embossed leather. There's a bottom. It's a great little cross body bag. Perfect everyday bag. It's a nice color as well. That'll go with everything. This is our taupe brown ostrich embossed new with tags. Juni and fur crossbody bag with polished brass hardware. And how much is this, Peter? I can't wait for season four. Like, I know season four was actually confirmed already because they renewed for two seasons when they renewed season three so uh, by here the next one is going to come out around december of 2023 so we're gonna have to wait a whole nother year for the new season okay i'm gonna do this one for 75 dollars that's gonna be number 32 again this one is new with tags i just don't have a dust bag for this one and up next gonna be number 33 Three. Oh wait, did did anyone watch um what's the other show that I was watching? It was called It was kinda like Emily in Paris, but she's like in New York. She's a lawyer. Um partner, partner, partner track. That one. Did anyone finish that one? I still need to finish that one. I haven't had time to finish watching it. Um, similar to that flap, I have this Michael Kors. There's this one. It's also like a flap bag style. Um, this one is in a, this is quilted, but it's, uh, what is this fabric called? It's, um, tweed. So this is a tweed quilted bag. I think the quilting is kind of hard to see on camera, but it has like the diamond quilting. Uh, has silver hardware. It does have some marks on the hardware. I don't know if it shows up that well though, but it does have some marks. It has a little leather tab right there. You squeeze this together and this pops open. There's a back pocket right here. It does have the convertible straps so you can wear it as a shoulder or as a crossbody. Very like Chanel-esque. Uh, back pocket is nice and large. When you open it up, you have um, lots of compartments. There's the middle zipper compartment. There's a back zipper with, um, looks like four built-in card slots. And then on the front, there's another slip pocket right there as well. So lots of compartments. And then underneath the top flap is leather. And we have this guy. <gasps> Cassandra, did you finish all the episodes? Wait, of which one? Emily in Paris or Partner Track? Okay, so this is our... Uh, blue and white quilted tweed Michael Kors convertible flat bag with silver hardware and navy leather trim. This one is $65 and that's number 33. Ah. Uh. I always mess these up. Wait, how much was it, Vader? 65? Okay. Oh, both, Cassandra? Ah, I still have to finish Partner Track. I might finish that. I'll finish that probably this week. 
But now I'm going to need something else to binge watch afterwards. There's that new, um, like the prequel to The Witcher. I started watching that. So there's that that I've been watching also. But I've only watched one episode. But this is number 33. I pulled someone. <laughs> the good thing about those shows, though, is they're pretty short. Like um, Emily in Paris and Partner Track. They're pretty short, so you can finish them pretty quickly. Um, I have this guy right here, too. This is like a little like envelope crossbody bag. This is the Marc Jacobs collection one. And I believe this is in a goat skin. It has three zipper pouches built in. So there's a small one, and there's two larger ones in the back. Um, opens like there. The front one has four built-in card slots, and then the back one just has a slip pocket. And this is in like a ballerina pink, and this is in a bit of like a mauve light pink taupey color, and then has gold hardware. You can wear this one as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody. So shoulder, really cute. Crossbody, just like that. Oh, Cassandra, it's so easy to get into those shows because they're so easy to watch, you know? Like, sometimes you just need, like, those shows that you can kind of just, like, watch and none of, like... They're, like, almost like those... Um, almost like a slice of life kind of show where nothing, like, crazy really happens. And it's just, like, easy to watch. And it just has, like, a fun storyline. So this is 34. This is our um, triple zip Mark Jacobs collection uh, shoulder crossbody bag with light gold hardware made in Italy and these um, this one's also made in Italy I believe the retail on this was around 750 to 850 dollars I believe and it's just a great crossbody Okay, um, how much was this one, Vadrian? Okay, this one was 150 but we're going to do 120 Do a discount on that one. Um, oh, you know, I still need to finish watching... Um, what's that other show that I was watching, Vadrian? The one with, like, the hotel... Vadrian? The one with that lady from um, Legally Blonde. What was that one called? No, the show. What? White Lotus? No. White Lotus. Yeah. I need, I need to finish watching White Lotus still, the second season. That one was really good. Um, yesterday I watched The Onion... <gasps> Ooh, Hepatia. You know, I was thinking about watching that last night, too. Did you like the show? Hi, Jean. Happy Christmas. Oh, Jean, that's okay. That's all yours. <laughs> But yeah, so that's this guy right there. Uh, 35. Let's do... Oh, I still have um, that really cute... Are we really on 35? Should we just end at 40 today? We're going to end at 40, I think. I still have this really cute Chanel backpack. This is the one that has like the little clear portion on top. And then it has the zippered part on the bottom it's so cute this one has silver hardware there's little feet on the bottom this is a glazed calf skin so it's not a patent but it does have like a nice sheen to it and the plastic is in great shape it has the little shoulder strap like this that you can carry and then the back straps are like this super cute this is the one that elizo tried on i told him it was a school bag he complained Thing that it was too small for his homework. So, um, yeah. 
But we still have this guy. I also still have the larger red one as well. So. Uh, Veronica, yeah, it's this. I think you've seen this one, but it's this guy right here. It's the envelope little bag. Oh, Kirsten. Of course. We Bear Bears is the best. The kids love that show. They watch it. Yeah. It's so cute. I My favorite is um, Ice Bear. Ice Bear is my fave. Uh, how much was this, uh, the backpack? So this is our yellow Chanel backpack with silver hardware. Okay, this one is 3000 Yeah, 3000 for this guy. That's number 36. Or 35, sorry, 35. And then 36. So cute. I want to like wear this to like the beach or something. How cute is that? Up next, um, I have this cool... Okay, this is like the third time I think I've had the same exact style bag. This is the Michael Kors Collection crossbody bag. I think this retails for like 700 or something crazy. Um, this is a black snakeskin leather. And then this piece right here is in a calfskin leather. There's two little side pockets. They have like a little magnet, magnetic snaps on the sides. The crossbody strap is adjustable and this is removable, so you can just use this as a clutch if you wanted. What's really cool though is when you open this up, it has a magnetic flap. Um, underneath right here, this is actually a pocket. So you can actually stick your AirPods or whatever like small item inside of here. This is an actual pocket, which I think is very interesting. And then you have two built-in card slots um, right inside of there. And this is lined in suede. Um, there is a little bit of a stain just right there. I don't know if... It'll come out with my eraser, but let's see if it lightens up at least a little bit. It might. Actually, it is lightening up a lot. Ooh, hold on, this is doing a pretty good job. I'm just using one of my little, this is an eraser pencil thing. Um, Oh, that is coming off. Okay, where's my little brushy thingy, my bobber? Okay, I had my little brush, but now I lost it. Okay, it lightened it considerably. So it's a shadow of itself, but it did have like that dark mark on there. But um, I think with a little bit more work, it'll come completely out. But there are a couple small pen marks in that bottom corner right there. Can you see that? Right there. But they're right in the corner. Not like crazy noticeable or anything. And like I said, you can remove the crossbody strap too. You can put this right through there and then this will come out. So then you can just use this as a clutch if you wanted. But it's such a cool bag. And this is number 36, this is our black Michael Kors collection flap bag in black snakeskin and calf leather and silver hardware. And this is how much we ran for this guy? Okay, we're gonna do this one for $85. And that's number 36. All right, and then 37. What 
do we have? Oh, okay. This one is pretty cool. Um, I think it has... Okay, hold on. Let me see if we can get this little mark off the sides. But this one is really cool. This is a Raph Simmons, um, Calvin Klein collaboration satchel. These are so rare. Okay. That did come out. I think all these other marks are going to... Yeah, I think all the other marks are superficial. These will come out. Um, but this is a super rare bag. This is a Raph Simmons... Um, Calvin Klein collaboration. It is a like a white colored leather satchel. It has the top handles right here. Has silver studs, um, and it has this really cool like silver hardware on the front two corners. It's not on the back, which actually is pretty nice. So that way, it's like not super duper heavy. Um, it has a longer shoulder strap as well which you can actually wear this as a crossbody also but it does sit higher but i think it's pretty cool i feel like that's like it goes with like the style of the bag if that makes sense um it does also have feet on the bottom as well and it has a little um clochette right here the interior is also lined in leather it's actually lined in the black leather. I don't know. It's going to be kind of hard to show. But black leather. There's one interior pocket right here. And it just has this giant, like, um, Calvin Klein metal hardware piece right there. And it has, like, the, like, the coordinates or whatever right there. And yeah, the inside leather is so soft. I think it's like a black um, lambskin leather on the interior. The outside is a white pebbled calfskin leather. And the bag is so, so gorgeous. This is how it looks without like any of the stuffing inside. I like the way that it kind of just like drapes. And then even when you wear it as a crossbody bag, I think it looks really cool right like isn't that just like so cool very edgy hardware is gorgeous um the resale value of this bag is around 750 to 800 dollars yeah the um, like there's one for 750 I think is the lowest price that um these are for resale. Everything else is like a thousand something for these bags. Um this is number 37. This is their white Calvin Klein Raf Simmons collab satchel with silver hardware details. And this is how much Fadrian? Uh, how much is this one? Okay, let's. We're just gonna do this one for two hundred and fifty dollars. That's gonna be item number thirty-seven. The white one is like super rare, right? Like I only saw these in black. Yeah, I've only seen the black and gray available online. So, and there's only two of them. There's none of these white ones available online. I feel like that the white one is like so nice. It's like iconic. It's beautiful. And the leather is so nice on these bags too. It's awesome. But yeah, so that is a Raph Simmons collab with Calvin Klein bag. Okay, just a couple more items left. Um, number 38 is going to be, I have this uh, Rebecca Minkoff 
Um, this is a pink little satchel. Hold on, there's a little thing on here. Let me see if I can remove this. I have my cleaner. Come on. It looks like it's like food or something. It's coming off slowly, but surely. I wonder if the eraser will get it. Isn't it beautiful, Akenna? This is when the eraser comes in handy. I feel like the eraser is doing a better job of removing it faster. Anyway, it will come off. It just needs a little work on it, but, um, but yeah, it's in this like nude pink color, Rebecca Minkoff. There's a zipper pocket here on the front. It does have little feet. The hardware is in black and silver. And crossbody strap is adjustable and removable. The interior, oh, it also does come with the extra little tassels inside of there. And then the inside looks like there is are there any pen marks inside of there? Okay, no pen marks. There's a zipper pocket and then three open pockets in the interior. And it has a butterfly lining, which is really pretty. And this does zip all the way across the top as well. And this one, Marjorie, I don't think so. I think nowadays you can wear any color bag any time of year. It doesn't matter as long as you like it. Yeah, it was, um, it was Anne, I think, Kathleen. Okay, so this is our pink Rebecca Minkoff satchel with black and silver hardware. And this is going to be how much, Adrian? Okay, this one's going to be $50 for our Rebecca Minkoff. Number 38. All right, two more items, 39 is going to be, okay, I have this, um, this is a black coach shoulder bag or tote bag it's in this black pebble leather no way that bag agreed pauline right exactly style chat winter white i love all white winter outfits right i feel like it's fabulous uh this is in a Soffiano style leather gold hardware the straps also are adjustable I think this is, this is the longest that they go. No, they can actually go a little bit longer than this, but the length is fantastic. You can wear it um, with your thick jackets and hoodies and whatever during winter time. We have the little coach uh, hang tag right here. And then this is a beautiful red in the interior. It's the same type of Safiano leather. And then there's a middle dividing zipper compartment and this is in like a burgundy Safiano and in the zipper compartment there's one slip pocket and it's inside the interior is nice and clean there just are a few little pen marks in this back corner right there it's really hard to see but there's just a couple little pen marks in there otherwise the bag is in great shape this is what the bottom looks like it doesn't have any feet but the it is like nice and sturdy on the bottom so it's not going to bow or anything if you fill it up but this is item number 39 oh my gosh marjorie you need to use it like right now that bag is beautiful this is our black safiano um coach tote bag with gold hardware and red interior this one is 75 dollars that's 39. 
And then last item is going to be item number 40. Exactly. You need to show it off. That bag is beautiful. Okay. Last bag of the day. I have, um, this is a Chanel flap bag. And this is in a quilted lambskin in this beautiful dark red color with gold hardware. She is a beauty. This one has convertible straps as well. And she has like a really beautiful kind of like patina to her. Um, this leather kind of like will patina um, over time with you. So like you can see it like it has like um, kind of like almost like an ombre-ish kind of effect. I don't know. Like it's just really pretty. And the leather also does have a little bit of a sheen to it. It has like a built-in kind of like glitter almost to the leather. Um, so it's really, really pretty. Um, but yeah, it does have kind of like that patina, especially like on the corners. But I think that's why I really like this leather because it, this is the kind that will age with you over time and look really good. And then if you don't like it, like after a while, these are really easy to dye or have like someone professionally do it. But the color is on this is so, so pretty. There's the back. It's so soft too. I love these flat bags that aren't super structured. I love like how soft and squishy they are. Here's the interior. It's in pretty good shape. It just has um, like a couple small marks, like a little red makeup mark on the very bottom. I tried to clean it out. It's really light, but still a little bit there and also just a little bit right there as well. Um, there is a zipper right there. And then, again, you can wear this as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody. And here she is without anything inside. It's really, really cute. I love that it also kind of has like this ruching also, like, in the front. It's gorgeous. And you can wear this as a crossbody or as a shoulder. And this is number 40. This is our um, dark red Chanel lambskin flap bag with gold hardware. And how much was this one, Vadrian? This is 2850 Hi, Glorious. Yeah, this one's 2850 That's item number 40. And all of the Chanel's will come with, like, authentication certificates as well. And that is our last item for the evening. Our beautiful red Chanel. This is so cute. And in comparison to the other one, um, since the other one's also a red color. There you go. Very similar. This one is in a calf leather and this one is in a lambskin. So you can see kind of like the difference. And this is like a rigid leather. This one is super squishy and super duper soft. Very similar in colors though. Um, I think this one is a little bit more of a darker shade, and this one's a little bit brighter. Okay, but that is it for the day. Let me leave the link one more time for the giveaway too, if uh, you guys haven't had a chance to enter. Um, our question today is, how are you celebrating New Year's Eve? Leave your answer right there in the comments. Right, Kirsten? This one is so cute. I really like this one. I love how soft and squishy it is. That's, the, that's my favorite thing about it. I just love a soft, squishy bag. Um, next live, I can do one either Thursday or Friday. I know New Year's Eve is on Saturday. So Thursday or Friday. 
is the next live. You guys let me know um, what you want. Aren't they beautiful? Really, really cute. But um, let's put them both together. Yeah, lambskin is definitely the lambskin is definitely a lot squishier and softer. There's also a difference in the length of the strap. This one is a little longer. This one is shorter. But there you go. But yeah, if I don't get to see you guys until next year, I hope you guys have a great, happy new year. Um, Celebrate for me, because I don't think I'm doing anything crazy. I think we're just going to stay at the house. So if we do just stay at the house, I probably will pop on a little bit um, at night. And we can, some of us can celebrate when it's actually like when New Year's happens. And um, yeah. <laughs> but you guys have a great rest of your day. Um, let me get the giveaway ready. So if you guys have... Uh, just don't forget to enter. We're going to do the giveaway like right now. Again, we're giving away the little um, spa set right here. Really, really cute. Um, Veronica, I don't know. Did I know you emailed me last night. And I replied to that one. But I don't know if you saw it. Okay, and we're going to pick a winner in three, two, one. Do, 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 do. All right, looks like Lady Badger. Um, I just stay at home. I think that's what we're doing too, Lady Badger. Congratulations. You are the winner of our little gift set today. So congratulations. Yeah, multi-time New Year's. Uh, but congratulations Lady Badger we'll send that over to you and thank you guys again for hanging out with me today I had so much fun um, I'll have the next schedule live uh, next live scheduled soon I just need to figure out what day I'm going to do it either Thursday or Friday um, but let me know what you guys think too send me an email or whatever um, yeah Veronica you did I tried to reply to all of them but I don't know Anyway, thank you guys again so, so much. I love you guys all immensely, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Invoices should be sent out in the next 15 minutes. All right, bye, guys.